Hey, in this video, let's uh, take a look at the uh, advantage of using uh, duplicate uh, duplicate special uh, instead of just duplicate, right? So one of the things I'm going to go is um, if you go to poly modeling, you have all these great uh, base uh, options to, to choose your uh, initial shape. But if you go to create and then go to polygon primitives, you see that there's actually quite a few more options that um, are available and they have cute little uh, icons next to it, which could be uh, really helpful, especially if you're creating something, uh, you know, something different. So maybe in this case, I'm going to grab a pyramid and drag a pyramid. And now if I go to my attribute editor and go to uh, the tab here, I can control some of these settings, right? So maybe I can change the baseline, not important, maybe the length, or maybe I want to add some more uh, subdivision, right? And here's the thing. If I do a control D and just move this aside, let's say I want the second pyramid next to it. And I also would like to uh, dial some settings in here, but you can see that in the attribute editor, the uh, graph is actually missing. You can't uh, dial this to anything else. So if I click on this one again, you could see the, that the uh, pyramid history is here and this one does not have it, right? So one way you could uh, solve this is if you select your original shape and don't um, apply any um, changes to it besides just using the uh, dials here, you can actually go to edit and do a duplicate uh, special and then what you could do is you can click on duplicate input graph. And now if you say a dupli duplicate special or apply, right? If you say apply and drag this out, you can see that while I drag this, all of this uh, is still here. So I can actually change this guy to anything I would like. I can still come here and change this. And again, maybe I want another one drag it over here and have give it even more uh, resolution. So uh, keep that in mind. It could be really useful and helpful if you're building uh, environments and you would like to retain control over your um, base meshes as you're duplicating them. So a cool little trick. I hope this will uh, help you. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, and we before we uh, finish, there is another trick. If you select your uh, shape, you could press T on your keyboard and that will give you kind of a shortcut uh, to this window. If you don't have attribute editor uh, open to this uh, tab, you can do that by simply pressing T on your keyboard. All right. Thanks for watching.